Hi, I'm Rune Guerra, and today I'm with Kai van der Loo, SVP from Technology Strategy in SAP. Kai, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm fine too, because the weather is fine. Let's look out outside your window. Can we see something? All the trees? Yeah, it's kind of cloudy, but speaking about cloud, <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to you regarding uh, the technology strategy and um, people know you from the Innovation Weekend where you uh, also showed um, uh, SAP's product uh, strategy and also how our technology strategy fits into that and um, maybe could you explain again to people what SAP's technology strategy is so how sure. what are the parts of it and how does it relate to SAP products yeah I'd be happy to uh... I would say the three main elements of our technology strategy are consumption, including mobile, it's cloud, and it is in memory. These are three fundamental technologies that are underlying uh, many, if not all, of our new products. So as you know, the product strategy is focused on on-premise, on-demand, on-device, with orchestration. But of course, we need a set of technologies to power all of these products with all of these different uh, deployment models. And that's where the technology strategy comes in, and uh, which is driving our big investments in these different technology areas, the consumption, cloud, and in memory. Wow, that was quite a lot of information. Can you please somehow uh, show that maybe on the, on, the, on, the, on the whiteboard so that people can understand how these things are connected, maybe it's easier. So we can do that. I, that's I think, and I've said this before, the, the best way to understand where we are going is to look at where our customers are today and where we, to some extent, are coming from. So if you look at a customer landscape today, it consists of a couple of different systems. You've got the ERP system, W, we have some other SAP applications. Mm -hmm. Most customers today have some NetWeaver components, be it PI or the Enterprise Portal or MDM or something that hold these systems together and they manage them using solution management. So mm -hmm. this is your typical SAP landscape. This is what companies run their business processes on. These are the system of record for what's going on in their business. Um, many of our customers have been with us for a very long time, especially in the ERP system. Mm -hmm. So this has often become like a department of its own within IT. We have like half joking, we've been talking about the SAP Fortress. These are the people who speak up, up during the coffee breaks. And yes. The, uh, we have it quite often here in the SAP offices. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's how we communicate here, in fact. <laughs> but this is uh, so the, the core, the traditional SAP landscape. And of course, we continue to invest in technologies for this, this landscape. We continue to invest in NetWeaver. We just came out with a 7.3 release. We've got thousands of developers doing functional development in our applications. We continue to invest in Solution Manager and our service offerings. So, so that is like our ongoing business. But what we've seen over the years is that we need to get better at helping our customers get more value out of these systems. And that's really where uh, these new technologies come in. So let me start with the first one of the technology areas, which is consumption. And I'm just going to briefly talk about what we're doing there, what the objective is. It's really to let people from all over the place interact with the data and the functionality in these systems. Because if you've had an SAP ERP system for 15 years, you've had a BW for 10 years, the amount of data you have collected and, and the amount of business knowledge that lives in the configuration of these systems is enormous. So you can have people out here, your employees, people in the business network, be it suppliers, transportation partners, whatever you have, and all the way out to consumers or citizens if you're in the private or public sector. There are many, many use cases where these people can 
get uh, value out of interacting with these systems. And this we're now enabling through various development efforts. We have the Gateway, we have uh, Duet and, and Alloy, the products that give you access from Office, from SharePoint, from Notes, these type of front-end technologies. We can do web development against Gateway. And of course, very important in all of this, we have uh, our Sybase acquisition, the uh, unwired platform, associated technologies like Afaria, device management, like the whole 365 portfolio of, um, of services for the mobile world. And of course, through this, we can now build mobile solutions. We can really put the data and functionality of these backend systems into the hands of these people wherever they are. Okay, so that's the consumption part. That's the consumption part. And this, we believe, is very low-hanging fruit for our customers to get more value out of the investments they've already made uh, down here.